If you are even remotely interested in Final Fantasy, someone has broken into your house at 3 a.m. demanding that you download the free trial for the critically acclaimed MMORPG Final Fantasy XIV. They might have even hounded you about it. In fact, it was probably me hounding you. And despite how it may seem, we're not a cult. I think. Now, normally when you see these types of videos, they're coming from MMO people. So I want to clarify straight out of the gate that I am not an MMO guy. Like, at all. For the most part, you would never get me to play an MMO RPG. Hey look, nothing against anyone who's into the genre, it's just usually not me. But Final Fantasy XIV differs in the fact that it's not just a good MMO, it's also a fantastic JRPG and Final Fantasy game. So much so that it's actually become my favorite Final Fantasy game and story. A title that I thought nobody could ever take away from the original Final Fantasy VII. But after Shadowbringers, the crown has indeed been passed on, at least for me personally. And if you're a single player purist rolling your eyes at that already, I don't blame you. After all, if you've grown up playing Final Fantasy, chances are you view it as one of the ultimate single player experiences in gaming. And you could not imagine an MMORPG scratching nearly the same itch. You couldn't imagine an MMORPG giving you those epic moments like the fight with Sephiroth or entering the Xanarkin ruins. I'm not only here to tell you that Final Fantasy XIV can scratch that exact itch, but it will also water your crops and clear your skin of acne. And hey, if it doesn't do all that, then I can assure you'll understand why Shadowbringers is the highest rated Final Fantasy in nearly two decades. And if what you're looking for is a Final Fantasy game with an incredible story, a great cast of characters, a ton of epic battles, and some music that absolutely slaps, I can assure you this is the game you've been waiting for. The most important thing to establish is the philosophy this game is made with. Naoki Yoshida has stated that Final Fantasy XIV is a Final Fantasy game and an RPG first and an MMO second, and this will become immediately apparent to you. Unlike other MMOs where you're just some random adventure, in Final Fantasy XIV, you are THE Warrior of Light. Your character is the protagonist in the same way Cloud Strife is the protagonist of Final Fantasy VII, or Titus is the protagonist of X, satisfying your narcissistic need to have the entire world revolve around you. Your role is indeed empowering, putting you at the center of one of my favorite Final Fantasy stories of maybe all time. And I get it, while the promise of an amazing story tempts you, you find yourself outright disgusted by having having to work with other human beings. So your immediate question will be, how much of this can I solo? Here's the answer. For the most part, you can complete the entire main story without having to ever directly interact with another human being. In fact, most of the main story is single player anyways. The only time you do have to play with others are during dungeons, known as duties, and boss fights, known as trials. And no, you won't have to be in chat, interacting with them making friends, or any of that awful behavior. The game has an automated matchmaking system so you don't need to know anyone. You show up, you perform your role, and that's it. But let's suppose you have a little performance anxiety, and you fear that you completely suck. If you just honestly tell people that you don't know what you're doing, almost every time the community will literally teach you the mechanics of the boss, or sometimes even what you should be doing as your role. Trust me, you'll start this game being like, I don't want to interact with anyone, and then after a while, you'll be like, which god are we killing tonight, fellas? And look, I already know what you're thinking next. I would love to play this, if I had time. And hey, that's fair, because normally when you think of MMOs, you think of these time-consuming leeches that just suck all the time out of you. This is not that kind of game. In fact, it is very much a take your time and enjoy the scenery. There is absolutely no pressure at all to get to the end game. Well, 
other than people saying, wait till you get to Shadowbringers. This game respects your time, that you are an adult with a job and probably kids. I should also take this time to mention that as the game currently stands, there is no grinding to get through the entire story. You can play your main job starting at level one and get all the way to the end of the game without stopping to grind even once. And if you do want to grind, Duty Roulette will level you up so much nowadays that you actually may be over leveled for where you're supposed to be in the game. The game really is designed to only require as much time as you want to put into it. And if that's only playing an hour or two of the game's main story each day, then eventually you can still be caught up. With that being said, this is quite a long story, with each expansion pack being the size of a full Final Fantasy game. So yes, it is meaty, quite meaty in fact, but you can eat it one bite at a time, savoring the flavor, and you will enjoy your meal. However, we do have to address the elephant in the room. Final Fantasy XIV, A Realm Reborn, unfortunately. Now listen, when A Realm Reborn first came out and replaced the abominable 1.0. It was a massive upgrade and was incredibly well received. But if you played this thing now and went Night Sky Prince lied to me, this is boring, I'd kinda understand where you're coming from. I think that A Realm Reborn is by no means bad. It just does not reflect how amazing the later game is. And for an introductory chapter to an MMO, it's still pretty decent. The vast majority of Final Fantasy XIV's story is voice acted and has pretty decent cutscenes. However, this is not the case in A Realm Reborn. And in fact, a lot of these voice actors don't even voice their respective characters anymore. In fact, it's somewhat jarring to even go back and hear them. Because of this, it can make A Realm Reborn drag even more. However, trust me when I say stick with the game. You will be paid off greatly. However, if you are looking for the incredible story and all the stuff that I mentioned before, you'll want to get off A Realm Reborn as as soon as possible. And it's relatively easy to do. Stick to the main story quest. It's always posted in the top left corner. And of course, make sure that you're doing your job quest. So yes, even if you traditionally hate MMORPGs, but you're a really big fan of Final Fantasy and you're curious about trying 14. What you have waiting for you is one of the best experiences that the mainline series has to offer, and one I thought would have never, ever become my favorite in this series. Yet through its extremely immersive world, its incredible music, its story with some of the most top tier writing I've ever seen, its incredibly endearing characters, and honestly, playing with you guys, makes this Final Fantasy something that that is truly special. So download the trial before I have to bust into your damn house. Shout out to Mr. Archer and the rest of the Ultima community.